Hi, so in the previous video we saw that error for any region R for a classification problem can be calculated as the fraction of data points which are misclassified. However, in practice there exist better, better error methods that we can use to decide our splits in a decision tree and one such error method is known as Gini impurity. So Gini impurity gives us the probability of obtaining two different outputs in region R. So Gini impurity of region R is probability of obtaining two different outputs from region R. And by two different outputs means output belonging to two different classes. So to remind Gini impurity is only used for classification problems. So let's say we have k classes 1 to k and we know that the probability of obtaining two identical outputs of class k. So let's say probability, let's say we are given data points x1, x2, xn and the corresponding classes are y1, y2, yn. So we can calculate probability of class i let me call it pi as number of yi's such that yi is equal to i divided by n that would be the probability of class y so basically we can write numerator in terms of indicator function so if corresponding yi is equal to uh, let me use another index here j for clarification so basically yj is the class of data point j and if the class of data point j is equal to ith class then we include it in the numerator else we skip it so this is basically probability of class i so once we have this probability of class i then probability of getting two identical output of class i and basically we pick one item the probability of getting first item from class i is pi then we put that item back we pick another item probability of again getting the same item is pi so this probability is pi square so probability of getting two identical items belonging to class i is pi square similarly Probability of getting two identical items from class 1 is p1 square. Probability of getting two identical items from class 2 is p2 square. So probability of getting two identical outputs overall. If we do our sampling with replacement is sigma pi square. Where i is equal to 1 to k because we have k possible classes for our classification, classification problem and probability of not getting two identical outputs is 1 minus sigma i is equal to 1 to k pi square right and this is called as Gini coefficient for region r so probability of not getting two identical outputs is same, same as probability of obtaining two different outputs from region r so Gini coefficient of region R is nothing but 1 minus sigma i is equal to 1 to k pi square. This Gini coefficient is also sometimes written in a different form as follows. Sigma. So we know that sigma pi is 1. Because pi is, pi is probability of getting an item of class i. So sigma pi is 1 because either we'll get an item of class 1 or 2 or 3 or k so sigma pi is 1 so we can replace this 1 here with sigma pi and sorry this numerator here is k because we have k classes and we can write this as follows pi into 1 minus pi so this is another way in which we can write our Gini coefficient. So let's 
consider let's calculate Gini coefficient for the given example so let's say uh, this is our complete region R and we have not made any split so far in a 2d dimensional space so Gini coefficient of region R is so probability of class 1 let's say class 1 is the blue class is 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2 probability of class 2 which is our red class is 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2 so Gini coefficient is 1 minus p1 square plus p2 square which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 which is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 so this is a Gini coefficient uh, sorry this is the Gini impurity uh, please don't miss Gini coefficient with Gini impurity those are very different concepts so Gini impurity for region R before the split is 1 by 2 and let's say we make a split as follows we don't know whether this split is the best split and we are evaluating that what would be the new Gini impurity after we make this split so after this split we have two regions R1 and R2 so new Gini, co new Gini impurity total Gini impurity would be Gini impurity of region R1 plus Gini impurity of region R2 so Gini impurity of region R1 would be now so P for blue is 4 for R1 P for blue is 4 by 6 which is 2 by 3 and P for red is 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3 so G for R1 is 1 minus 2, 2 by 3 square which is 4 by 9 plus 1 by 3 square which is 1 by 9 this is equal to 1 minus 5 by 9 which is equal to 4 by 9 Similarly, Gini coefficient of R2 for that probability of blue in R2 is 1 by 4 and probability of red in R2 is 3 by 4. So, Gini impurity of region R2 is 1 minus 1 by 16 plus 9 by 16 which is equal to 1 minus 10 by 16 which is equal to 6 by 16 which is equal to 3 by 8. So a minute thing to note here is that G net is basically not equal to G of R1 plus G of R2 but it is a weighted sum of these. So in the region we have 6 data points out of 10 data points and in the R2 region we have 4 data points out of 10 data points. So we will add the weighted average of these to get the new Gini impurity. So Gini impurity new is 6 by 10 into 4 by 9 plus 4 by 10 into 3 by 8 so let me take 4 by 10 common this will give us 6 by 9 plus 3 by 8 which is equal to 4 by 10 into 2 by 3 plus 3 by 8 which is equal to 4 by 10 into 16 plus 9 by 24 which is equal to 25 by 60 which is equal to 5 by 12 which is around 0 0.41 so we have reduced the genie impurity a bit now by making this split but we don't yet know that this split is the best split and we can try various other splits. Maybe we could try this split here, the second split here. So we have to try multiple split and whichever gives us the least Gini impurity, we will go greedily with that split. So I hope Gini impurity is clear to you. See you in next video.